this video is to discuss um, you know, the reasons why your shoulder makes noise, honestly. So that can be popping, clicking, um, any type of, or not only makes a noise, or you, you feel some sort of mechanical symptom in the shoulder. So patients report you know, popping, clicking, catching, grinding, all of the above. Something where you feel it's like not a smooth motion in the shoulder. And there's a lot of different words that people use to describe that feeling. Um, but the most common ones I hear are like popping, clicking, catching, grinding, right? And so the question is why? Why is this happening? And we get this question a lot. So, and the answer is um, it can be many things, right? So um, I think that, you know, just kind of going down the list, uh, some of the more re common reasons where you get clicking or catching. Um, it can be due to tears in the shoulder, right? So rotator cuff tears can cause clicking because the, the torn tissue can get caught and pinched in certain spots. Um, also, you get inflammation in the bursa, which the bursa is kind of sits, it's this, it's this layer of tissue that sits on top of your rotator cuff and it's between the rotator cuff and the acromion. And, and when the shoulder becomes inflamed, the bursa also becomes very inflamed and, um, and, and, and it becomes thickened and that can cause clicking or catching. Sometimes uh, you get clicking or catching because of tear of, in the socket of the shoulder, the labrum. And when you move your, the shoulder has a huge arc of motion. So that instability when the ball and socket is slipping slightly can cause clicking or popping um, or just the, the ball and socket's not stable. So that clicks or pops. So it could be a tear or due to instability uh, in the labrum or the rotator cuff. It can be due to bursitis. Um, the other thing that can cause clicking or popping is arthritis, right? So if the joint's worn out, right, and you have uh, bone on bone arthritis, um, you get these bone spurs and, and that can cause clicking, catching, popping in the shoulder. And patient, patients often report that, you know, they can go work out and do some heavy loading, but they'll just, you know, something, a real quick movement or, you know, just reaching out and grabbing a, a small object causes this pain in the shoulder and, or this click or this catch. Um, and, and it can do to be due to a myriad of things. It can be uh, mechanical instability, like I said, or some type of tear or arthritis. Those would be the most common things. Um, and why, do, why does it happen when you just do something small? Well, I, a lot of that's because subconsciously you're not protecting yourself, right? Like your, your mind is to say, grab this object, put your hand in the space here, and you, you're not quick enough to consciously adapt your motion to not put your shoulder in a position where it's not going to cause pain. So it's, it's, that's why I think when you're just reaching back into the back seat or something like that versus, you know, doing different motions. And, and I, I always preach this to patients, but like every shoulder problem is unique. Every human being is unique. So it may be that, you know, certain motion, it's very common that certain motions give you no discomfort, but one particular area or space that you move in um, causes significant discomfort, clicking or catching or popping. And, um, and that's because your problem is unique, right? Like, and, and it's also, your, you know, your shoulder is complex. I mean, there's a large number of, you know, bones, ligaments, tendons, and muscles that, that balance everything. And if one of those parts is, is off track or not functioning properly, then the whole system starts to, 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 to break down and cause problems. Uh, or it can be a, a certain part of the system, certain things you need to do. So I think the key to all this is, um, we actually don't get very concerned if the clicking, catching, popping is not painful, right? That's a big thing. It's like if you're, if you know, joints crack and pop in the human body all the time, but as long as it's not painful, you're not damaging anything, you're not at risk of injury, you're not at risk of having some sort of permanent problem. But if those things are painful and they're happening on a regular basis, it's a good idea to come in and get checked by us and just see what the problem is. I mean, that's, that's the first step in, in solving any issue is getting a very firm diagnosis and um, I think one of the things that our practice offers is, you know, we just see shoulders all day, every day, like five to 6,000 a year. So we're gonna give you a very, very clear picture of what the problem is, and then we can talk about all the options of what to do to fix it. But, you know, in order to get a true diagnosis, I mean, I see many, many patients who have seen different providers or, or different people, and they don't really know exactly what's going on. And so um, I, I'm, I'm not saying that we can, find out exactly what's going on every time, but I think we have the best odds of, of figuring out out of anyone because we've just seen the most, we have the most experience with shoulders. So, and we've seen everything under the sun. Um, so if you have clicking, catching, popping in the shoulder and it causes pain or discomfort or weakness in your shoulder, it's probably a good idea to go get it checked out and just figure out what's going on. And then once you know what's going on, you can decide what you want to do next.